then let's discuss about physical and environmental security. So, physical and environmental security policy fundamentally mentions the need of having policies for secure areas, equipment security and different controls to be associated with it. Let's break it down further. The objective of this policy, secure areas, is to prevent unauthorised physical access, damage and interference to the organisation's premises and information. So let's discuss this in detail. You need to have policies not only for maintaining the physical security perimeter, but also for physical entry controls, securing offices, rooms and facilities, protecting against external and environmental threats, working in secure areas and public access, delivery and loading areas. When you create policy for secure areas, make sure that security perimeters, barriers such as walls, card control entry gates or manned reception desks shall be used to protect areas that contain information and information processing facilities. Secure areas shall be protected by appropriate entry controls to ensure that only authorised personnel are allowed access. Physical security for offices, rooms and facilities shall be designed and applied. Physical protection against damage from fire, flood, earthquake, explosion, civil unrest and other forms of natural or man-made disaster shall be designed and applied. Physical protection and guidelines for working in secure areas shall be designed and applied. And access points such as delivery and loading areas and other points where unauthorised persons may enter the premises shall be controlled and, if possible, isolated from information processing facilities to avoid unauthorised access. The objective of the policy equipment security is to prevent loss, damage, theft or compromise of assets and interruption to the organisation's activities. You need to have a policy mentioning the equipment sitting and protection but also for supporting utilities, cabling security, equipment maintenance, security of equipment of premises, secure disposal or reuse of equipment and removal of property. When you create policy for equipment security, make sure that equipment shall be correctly maintained to ensure its continued availability and integrity. Security shall be applied to off-site equipment, taking into account the different risks of working outside the organization's premises. All items of equipment containing storage media shall be checked to ensure that any sensitive data and licensed software has been removed or securely overwritten prior to disposal and equipment. Information or software shall not be taken off-site without prior authorization. 